My name is Torben Kronberg. I come from Danfoss and we are participating and sponsoring uh, the IEA uh, conference here on Hipcoms in Rotterdam. Um, and uh, the topic for us is uh, really supermarkets, uh, the integration of heating and cooling, uh, and especially the usage of, uh, of CO2 as a refrigerant in that uh, case. CO2 is uh, just, just a fantastic refrigerant if you're talking about cooling and heating, especially the combination where you can utilize the energy uh, from the cooling side and supplied at the heating side to a user there. And uh, our presentation this time uh, is about how to exploit the unused uh, compressor capacity uh, to uh, export uh, heat to uh, thermal networks, uh, basically exporting heat for, uh, for your neighbors. Um, and uh, if you look at the statistics for supermarkets, uh, the energy statistics for supermarkets during one year, it's, it's very normal that you you will see that uh, only 70 or 30 percent of your capacity uh, is utilized. The rest of the year, uh, 70 percent is not utilized. Uh, so we were looking into uh, how to utilize uh, this uh, remaining capacity. Uh, and once you are connected to a district heating network, you can actually um, uh, sell uh, this heat, the supermarket is able to, to get a revenue based on selling heat to the district heating system, and uh, and it, it, it just fits so well with the with the new energy agenda, also on energy uh, on renewable energies, uh, especially we low we, we know that capacity utilization is very low uh, during winter and especially during the nights in the winter, while uh, very often we see electricity prices dropping uh, to a very low level. Uh, because of the, the amount of wind energy produced during night. And uh, so it's a perfect fit, actually, and that is really what we want to, uh, to argue, that uh, these kinds of, uh, of technology improvements, uh, and you also call it low-hanging fruits, they are so obvious that we should go for them.